Hello and welcome to Studio 18 in the Pines. Once again, we have an incredible art show opening here. And this one is called Symbolic Visions. And with me is Robin Vegas, the arts coordinator for the city of Pembroke Pines. You did it again, Robin. Thank you, Elaine. Such fun. I mean, your shows are just such fun. They're fun and very unique. I think each time people come in, they see brand new artists and something unexpected and yeah. it keeps people coming back so yeah. we're excited. This show features four artists is that right? Yes it is. We have four artists from outside of the studio this time. Um, we alternate our shows between our resident artists in the studio and new people. And so this, these are four new people. Each one is a gem. I mean they're just just wonderful work. It is. We have uh, photography, we have painting, we have mixed media and we have sculptures so they're four very different artists and uh, you'll be really impressed by the quality of the work. It's a lovely lovely art exhibit Thank and you. we're gonna have fun touring it. Thank you so much. Thank you. Enjoy. <laughs> Marilyn Garcia is the photographer that did these sensitive, soft photographs of homeless people. And that's your whole subject matter, is, is, is homeless it, it, people. It is. And you know what? That's, somebody needs to bring them forward and show the way they live. Exactly. And this is your first show, isn't it? It is. I'm excited. So, congratulations. Thank you. What, what gave you the impetus to, to join well, the show? I had been wanting to do an exhibit and I really didn't know what to do. And uh, me going out every day trying to shoot, because I do shoot every day, um, anything from a butterfly to people. And then once I saw the homeless out in Fort Lauderdale, I said I want to do a piece on them, because it really touched my heart. So that's what inspired me. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you. The artist of the work behind me is Ernesto Cunde. Say hello to Ernesto. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Ernesto, you painted the revolution that had happened all over the, the Middle East. Yes, uh, I tried to capture uh, what I, I said before is that this was happened in my life too. Like every time I open a magazine or a newspaper or internet, oh, I, s I was definitely so into, kind of drove me in, and I thought, why not just paint the, the time and capture what was going capture on? Capture the moment. Yes. And you did the same thing with the buildings in Miami. Correct. That some of them were beautiful 50 years ago, and some of them are getting old and decayed now, but you captured them the, this moment what they are at this moment. Yeah, I, I, that was the point. I just want to give that for the next 20 or 50 or 100 years, uh, the, the picture will be there. So thank you very much, Ernesto. Thank you. And good luck. Thank you so much. This artist is Claudio Perez Leon. And these huge, beautiful paintings are mainly done on paper. Yes. yes. Sometimes I work on very large pieces of paper, like the one in the back. Other times I assemble smaller pieces of paper into a larger hole. It's a and you life. do beautiful, beautiful work. Thank you. It's, it's just a pleasure to walk through this art gallery yes, and yes. see the work that's here. And your work just shines, shines up the rooms. Thank you. So they're, they're lovely. Um, are you interested in, in religious art? Well, I, um, I don't necessarily see it as something religious, even though it is explicitly. Uh, 
I see it as part of my own spiritual journey. They happen to be religious because those things sort of fascinate me. The, the mythical stories, the stories that go back all the way to the ancients, and the things that allow us sometimes to live through different kinds of, of joys or, or times of or crisis heartache. or heartache, you know, those are the things that really interest me because it's the life-changing experiences the ones that, that, that define the human being. And, and so, you capture them yeah. beautifully. Thank you. So thank you so much, Claudio. Thank My you very pleasure. much. Thank you. This is Judy Polstra, who did these mannequins. Some of them are sad, some of them are funny. You got a great sense of humor. Well, thank you, thank you. <laughs> Tell me how this came about. Why did you start working with buttons and beads? Uh, well, about 10, 11 years ago, uh, my mother and both my grandmothers passed away about the same time. Wow. And yeah, it, it, yeah, it was a real, it was a really tough time, you know, as you go through your loved one's belongings. Um, they had bags and boxes full of costume jewelry and buttons and doll furniture and toys and some of these beautiful odds and ends that nobody in my family wanted. And it just made me sad to think that they were either going to be thrown away or given away and never to be seen again. Some of them had personal memories for me, some attachments. And so I kind of hoarded them. I said, well, I'll take all of them. Um, and I didn't know at the time what, what you were exactly. Do with them. <laughs> I had no idea. And all my life, I've had um, bouts of insomnia. In college, I studied some fashion and fashion merchandising, and I had a leftover mannequin form. And um, one night, I just got out this, the, the jewelry and the beads and spread them out, and I had the mannequin form. And I just started experimenting with, they call it assemblage, which is basically just putting together found objects, kind of like in a collage form. I did that on the mannequin form, and uh, my first piece was born, and there's a photograph of her in the corner next to the pic pink picture frame, and she's my first piece, and I sold her. You must use a ton of buttons a You know, year. and that's what I say. There's nothing that's too ugly or broken, or, I mean, I'll use anything. In this piece, there's, a, there's two glass eyes, real prosthetic eyes. There's a denture piece. Um, <laughs> I, I take anything. If it's funny, I look for texture or something that's funny or beautiful or ugly. Um, if I get a reaction, then I want to use it. Judy, next time I see you, I'm going to bring you a jar of buttons. That would be wonderful. I, you know, I have them for my mother as well. That would be wonderful. Thank you. Will they go to good use? <laughs> yes, they thank will. Thank you. So thank you very much. You're welcome. <laughs>